Hi everybody, today I have a quick video for you about arrow notation for rational functions. To talk about what that really means is we are going to look at a number a and consider it having two sides, a right side and a left side. For notation and to make things easier, we use a with a plus to mean the right side of a and we use a with a minus to say the left side of a. And what we want to do is look at what the function is doing on each side of a particular number. So as an example, I have this function f of x, and I want to see what's happening when we get close to 1 from the right side and from the left side. So what I want you to imagine is being on the function and moving closer and closer and closer to the value of 1, and I'm coming from the right side, and look what happens. The closer I get to 1, all of a sudden I start going down towards negative infinity. So as I approach 1 from the positive side, which is the right side, I'm headed towards negative infinity. If I go over to 1 from the left side, so this is 1 from the minus side, and I'm getting closer and closer to 1, the closer I get to 1, I head up, 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 which is positive infinity. So 1 from the negative side is positive infinity. What I want you to pay attention to is that it doesn't mean it's a negative number because I'm 1 from the negative side. It just means I'm on the left side of the number 1. We also want to stop and look at the end behavior of the rational function. So we want to say what's going on with x as x goes to infinity. So again, I get back on the graph. So I'm on this bottom piece of the graph. As I move towards infinity, I can see that I level off, and it looks like I'm getting closer and closer to this number negative 2. So let's put in a negative 2. Same thing if I get on the function and I head over towards negative infinity, so I'm heading to the left, I see it trailing off again, which says it's getting closer and closer to negative 2 that way as well. Sometimes it helps to put in some lines. So let's put in a line here so you can see that my function really looks like it's headed toward this line that's located in negative 2, and sometimes it helps if I put in the line at 1 to kind of see what's happening there. We'll continue to talk about this as we go, but we want to start with the arrow notation to talk about this behavior. Let's look at another example. This time I want to see what's happening at 2, so let's put in a line at 2 just to kind of help our eyes focus at where we're going. So 2 from the positive side says I look at the number 2 and I go to the right side. So I want you to think plus is the right side. And I get on the graph and I start traveling toward this line at 2. And I notice I'm going up towards infinity. So let's put in infinity. If I get on the left side of the graph. So when I get on the left side of the graph, I do see there's two pieces. But I want to stay on the piece that's closest to the number 2. So it's this middle piece. And I'm going to start approaching 2, and I notice I go down, so I'm headed to negative infinity. So the next thing I said is let's look at negative 2. So here's negative 2, and again I have a right side and I have a left side. I'm going to once again draw a line so we can kind of focus our eyes on where we're looking. So negative 2, and I'm looking on the right side of the graph because I'm doing negative 2 from the positive side, and I go up towards negative 2. So as I come towards negative 2, I can see I'm going to infinity. So let's write infinity. Then let's get on the other side. So negative 2 as I travel toward the line. So negative 2 from the left, I'm headed to negative infinity. Again, let's talk about overall what's happening on the far right of the graph. So as I go towards infinity, I'm following along, and it looks like I'm headed to 0. So notice you're telling me the y value. So this looks like 0. Same thing if I get on the far left of the graph and I start headed towards negative infinity, I can see I'm headed towards 0. If it helps, we can put a dashed line in there to really help our eyes focus on what's happening on the end. So one last one, just to show you different things happen at different times. On this one, I'm going to look at what happens when I head towards 0. So from the positive side, I'm on the right side, I'm headed towards 0, and I can see I'm going to infinity. So on the left side, as I head towards 0, so 0 from the negative sign, I'm also heading towards infinity. So I wanted to show you one where the right and the left do the same thing. Then overall, 
if I'm looking at what's happening, I can see both the right side and the left side really flatten out at this number five. So as I go towards infinity, my y value is five. If I head towards negative infinity, I can see my y value is also five. So this was just a quick video to introduce you to this new notation, and I hope you see that we're really looking for some patterns here and some overall behavior for the functions to make graphing easier. Good luck.